Hello Pioneers, this is the RTV News Show, only at Oak Ridge High School. I'm Ashley. And I'm Sabrina. We hope all of you had a great Monday. It's been a busy week around the globe, so let's catch you up on what's happening around the world. Weston, best known for playing FBI agent Renee Walker in The Spirit 24 and providing the voice for Tess in the video game The Last of Us Had Died, Show 45. Rex Lynn passed away Sunday morning in Los Angeles fo following a battle with cancer. Her publicist told the Associated Press the type of cancer was not specified. Neil Broman, who created The Last of Us, wrote on Twitter that we just lost a beautiful artist and human being. My heart is shattered. Thoughts are with her and loved ones. Keeping you up to date is what we do best. Let's find out what's happening around campus. No. Progress reports are due this week. If you're hoping for a good start to the new year, make sure you are going to class on a regular basis and completing your work. Step up your game and get it done. You can do this. If you are worried about your progress support, then get to tutoring. We will host after-school tutoring Monday through Thursday for your course subject. You can bring your grades up by doing your work and studying every day. It's an amazing hack that after-school tutoring can help you with. We've got tons more happening around campus, and we'll tell you all about it after this break. So what's your name? Fidley Martillo. Uh, Dylan Murillo R. So first question, approximately how many Valentine's cards are swapped each year? You have 500,000, 1 million, 25 million, or 150 million? 150 million. That's correct. Damn, that's a tough one. Specifics, too. You said one of them was 5,000, right? That one. It's actually the highest one, which is 150 million. All right, question number two. What is the most popular Valentine's Day gift in the US? You have candy, jewelry, flowers, or cards? Candy. That's correct. I'm gonna go with candy, specifically chocolate. All right, that's correct, candy, and it's probably chocolates. All right, last one. Valentine's Day is the busiest holiday for restaurants. True or false? False. Wow, you got all of them right. It's actually Mother's Day. But yeah, wow, three for three. <laughs> I'm gonna go with true. It's actually false. It's Mother's Day. Yeah. Valentine's Day is second. There will be a senior assembly held this Friday, February 3rd, during 6th and 7th period in the auditorium. This is an opportunity for our seniors to receive important inf information regarding senior pictures, prom, grad bags, graduation, and other senior-related information. Please have your seniors go to your sixth period class first for attendance, and they will be dismissed via the intercom to the auditorium. If you have a class of all seniors, please escort them to the auditorium and help with the crowd control during both periods. Track tryouts are going to be today after school on the track. You must have your physical and ECG ready to go. The first track meeting is going to be on, at Oak Ridge on February 22nd at 4 p.m. Top ball tryouts are underway. You need your physical completed and turned to Miss Lenning before you can try out. See Ms. Gomez for more in details. Put these events in your calendars to know when they are coming up. We'll see you there. What's up, Oak Ridge Pioneers? This is Dean Richardson. Yes, Dean Richardson. You heard it right, I am the new dean here on campus. Specifically, I am now the attendance and truancy dean. And what that means is I am going to be now looking at all of you, all my students who are late, my students who are coming to class late, coming to school late, checking in on you, making sure that we are doing better with our attendance. So check this out. If you have not been aware, there are a couple consequences that we have in line for students who are on a regular late to class and late to school. And I'm gonna run them through you really quick so that you understand what it looks like when you do receive one of these consequences. If you are coming to school excessively late, six to 10 times, you are gonna be receiving a 30 minute lunch detention. 
After that point, if you continue, you are going to be receiving a one-hour detention that you must serve after school. If you do not serve your lunch detention or your after-school detention, you will receive a referral. If you continue to be excessively late, you will then be put in pass for a day. After that point, we're going to allow you to redeem yourself, but if your excessive tardies continue, either be to class or to school, you will end up getting a referral and being put in pass for three days. We don't want this to happen to you all. We don't want to put referrals in the system for you. We don't want to see all these consequences that are being put on, placed on you. So students, we need you to do better with your attendance. I need you to come to school on time. I need you to be in class on time. I need you to get there faster. You know what I mean? We're here for a purpose. I need you to get up in the morning, come to school for a purpose, be in class, and so that we can be very successful and bound for glory this year. If you have any questions, I am up in the front office. My office number is 101M, right outside the attendance office. So if you need me, if you see me out on campus, feel free to talk to me if you have any questions or concerns. But at this point, just want to let you know that. Have a great day. Let's have a great year. For now, that's all the information that we have for you. But keep us updated by following Ms. Malcolm's form and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching our TV news show, only at Oak Ridge High School, where we are one team with one goal, pioneering our way to NA. Have, have a great day. day.